Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Silvercross here with a uh, continuation of my Devil Survivor playthrough. This is uh, part 10. And uh, yeah, so last time we uh, did our first battle of uh, day 2. And uh, we faced some tamers, which was uh, pretty interesting. I don't know. Seems like a, you know, a new uh, turn of events, as one might say. And uh, yeah, we met up with this journalist, and she talked about this hidden pathway in the highway, and now we're going to check it out. Um, okay. Music seems pretty cool, yeah. Um, anyways, um, this battle is pretty interesting, mainly because it is now demons controlling comps. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's a pretty easy battle in terms of uh, the demons you'll be facing, as they're still the same ones you've already been facing, even more so. Um, the only problem is it takes a while if you let them um, summon too many allies. Um, so the main thing you should is you should go for the demons who are holding the comps. And you can tell which ones are doing that by the ones who aren't moving. So, also in this stage, all the gay gay reasons, I think. Okay. Uh, the weird gargoyle shit. Anyways, the weird gargoyle shit uh, are the ones who are holding the comps. Anyways, you should be face. You should be aiming to get those guys as soon as possible, as. Having to face all those Billwis and Jumbayas are not very fun. I mean, if you need the EXP, by all means, you can abuse it really easily and just keep killing them constantly. Um, but as you can see, I don't need the EXP. Um, they give incredibly nothing worthwhile, to be honest. So I decided not to even bother trying to grind. Um, I split my team, so each one gets their each one gets some. One of the, the comp holders. But yeah, uh. Not much to say, to be honest. It's a pretty easy battle. So yeah, as you can see, they don't move, so I mean, it's pretty easy to go after them. Um, just the fact that they summon all these damn Billwis crap is kind of annoying. And that one blocks the path. That's great. So just ignore the Billwis. They're not worth the time killing. Just go for the the Gear, the Gaggy Sims. I don't know, the gargoyle shit, the bird gargoyle crap. The pink fucker, that's all. That's all I can say. I'm not sure what else to, to call it, or what it's even based off of, but... Yeah. So yeah, with, uh, with a good team, you can pretty much take him out pretty damn easily. This mission is sort of like the one in day one where you gotta pick up the comps. Only this time the demons are holding comps, I mean, it's not a whole different step of picking it up, you kind of just destroy it. Um, in this case I had to battle the Billwis, because, well, it's blocking my way. And that, uh, that will not do.
I like it when they're all weak to electricity. It makes moves like electric dance uh, be damn good. So yeah, as you can see, um, I like to mix up my team this time. So I Thor as my physical and Lilum as my magical. Um, Lilum is pretty damn strong. Um, as you just saw with, my, with her electrical dance, she did 147 damage on uh, Jumbayan. Granted, he's weak to electricity, but I mean, that's still... Still pretty damn strong, not gonna lie. That was a miscalculation on my part. I thought uh, it would kill a dog first. But, um, I guess not. Anyways, not that too big of a loss. I mean, this EXP is almost worthless anyway, so whatever. I don't even know why I bother fighting all of them. Might as well just kill the center guy. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have that uh, flight or phantasma ability, so being able to go through obstacles, uh, can't do anymore. Um, I mean, it's not a requirement to have, but you know, it was nice. It was nice. I just fly for everything, but whatever. Rass strong demons, then uh, it's something like this. So yeah, Thor is uh, pretty good if you don't use his Berserk ability or any other ability. He can pretty much one-shot most of the most of the demons, anyways. So, I mean, do try to get Thor. I got him because he had the he had the unique tag to it. So I'm like, oh, seems like he'd be pretty strong to have. Plus, it's motherfucking Thor. I mean, how can you go wrong, right? It's Thor. Yeah, it doesn't have any, electri any electrical moves, but he just learned one, but I mean, come on. That dude's got a fucking hammer, he can just bulldoze it for everyone. He doesn't need electricity. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's more to this battle, or, or what? I mean, come on. Mm, I don't know where they came from, but I don't like it. I think it's best to run. This doesn't look like a battle I should be fighting right now. Oh, see, they just... Well, that's kind of pathetic for government soldiers, I guess. Stop. Don't do that. Blah, blah, blah. 
pathetic. Hmm. Things are getting uh, pretty damn interesting, though. Targets, 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 targets. Seems like the government uh, has something in plan, but we don't know what. Hmm. Well, let's just see. She's pretty cute. But she's got that weird face on her, like you're not supposed to trust her and she or she she's hiding something, you know? Something you you don't you don't know but you want to know. Oh well, I guess we'll find out later, right? Once again, this whole riot thing. It seems like uh Seems like people are uh, planning a riot, which is odd. If so, if everyone knows there's gonna be a riot, why riot at all? Or yeah, you know, it just seems it, it seems a bit silly, but oh well. All right, guess we'll just get this story event out of the way, and then yeah. Wonder if you can summon demons of vote the comp. we know who our villain is. Anyways guys, this part is fast approaching the end. And until next time guys, see ya.